It's James Steinhubel on the Sports Channel TVU with Shane McLaughlin. Sluggle free kick. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Yourself? Very good. Very good. So good. exciting. Soccer is such an exciting <laughs> sport. Is it like, is it like mus- musicians and artists? They're, you know, soccer's just spilling out and onto the street? Or what's happening? Well, right now it's dead. <laughs> uh, with the shutdowns and everything, everybody's at home and uh, trying to figure out how to get out on the pitch and play some soccer. Yeah, so uh, if the leagues are all shut down, like you can't hold soccer back, right? No. Like, it's it's no. going to happen. So, uh, you know. Yeah, we're all eagerly anticipating and, uh, you know, our numbers are really good in Edmonton. We're excited about that and eagerly anticipating being able to get out there and start playing the teams. I talked to some of the coaches and stuff like that and they're they're all excited and they're all doing online stuff right now, which I'm sure the kids are driving them nuts. My daughter plays and she's not too into the online stuff <laughs> she oh, wants to get out on the field <laughs> yeah and, and play and play so yeah h- how did you know your uh your brand new owner you know so you sort of uh bought the store and woke up to covid so yeah. you, don't, you don't you don't even really know what it's like no no you know so you, you only know business and covid so how, how are you doing how how is the uh, has virtual got into what you're doing how, how are you guys doing uh, we tried uh, doing the online store. It's uh, it's tough though because it's very much a personable sport. When you're doing a, a sport like soccer, people want to try on the gear, they want to try on the boots and stuff like that. So you can't do too much online. So we're doing a lot of equipment online, uh, soccer balls, and then I've been doing just drop-in appointments when somebody wants to come in. I open up the store for them uh, specifically at a time that we pick. Um, but you know, government shutdown couldn't stay open. Now we're excited that May 15th, we get to open again. Um, hopefully everybody can come in and grab their gear. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And you know, I'm just going to quickly look at, since we talked about your webpage, I just want to see if they're still, uh, they're still populated. This can take a sec to load up. So we'll, uh, we'll continue to visit. So then uh, you're, you're saying you're running appointment only, so you're you've been um, subject to all the new uh, restrictions and you know the the distancing and the sanitization. What's your uh, you know what, what's your plan and strategy for that on opening? Uh, well, we're fortunate; it's a smaller store, um, so it's not a lot of room. Um, we've got the ability to be able to sanitize the desks and stuff like that. Um, I've done some measuring and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, keeping the social distancing and stuff like that is quite easy. Probably going to reopen and minimize it to two to three families at a time, depending on the number of people, uh, just so people can get around and feel safe. Um, You know, everybody's got different feelings on where they're at, and I want to respect that as much as I can and, and keep everybody feeling safe when they're in the store. So good, uh, good business. I think that's a, you know, a good business that, that you bought. It's been, it's well established, you know, you're well, yeah. you're well, you're well positioned. What, uh, and I don't want you to, you know, let out your strategy. So you're, you know, you're, <laughs> you're gonna, you can't surprise your competitors because it's always nice to surprise them and, and, and take a, take a little bit extra, but what, uh, what kind of direction where are you steering, uh, where are you steering sluggos and you know, what's the plan? Uh, well, I, I bought the business uh, in December. Um, I have an overall vision. I come from a background of uh, in, in the construction industry, a supplier business. Uh, that's my whole background, 23 years doing that, uh, but always had a sports background. And I built my teams when I was managing uh, the supplier stores. I built them based on building a sports team. I coached for seven, eight years in soccer, um, coached basketball for four years. And I really enjoy how you build a team. So I wanted to take that in the business world. Uh, and I wanted to get back involved with the youth sports and, and stuff like that. And the store was a great avenue for that. Um, I really want to take the store more from just a product-based uh, store and really get out into a service-based um, in some different programs that are going to help kids. And uh, I really want kids all to have an opportunity to join sports teams. Um, and who knows, maybe even get into adults who want to pick up sports. Uh, fitness is becoming a big thing for a lot of people. And uh, some people are scared to get into sports because they don't know how to play them. So maybe getting out and helping people to get, get onto teams that way too. That's, uh, that's, that's, very, that's, very, that's very interesting. You know, we got a little bit of uh, internet action here. I do want to pull up one of your pages. 
And just let me know uh, when you can see your page there, uh, Shane. Just uh, let me know what we're uh, what we're seeing. I think this is the best. Should be coming through about now. Yeah. Can you see it? Okay. So this yeah. is uh, this is your this is the website as good as I can get it in the internet right now. So this is what yeah, you're talking about. Yeah, it's feeding too much. Yeah, your uh, footwear, your equipment, and your apparel. So you're you're saying that you're uh, you're getting lots of your you know your action right now in the stores on a, on equipment. Um, so what, what do you think? Are you, you're stocked up? You're ready? Like, it's going to be like multi-generational soccer. It's going to be like, you know, one street playing the next, the street over. So people are going to need a lot of people who've never played soccer before that, you know, so they can come in, you're going to help them out with their foot and their equipment. What, you know, what can they expect when they come to the store? Yeah. In the, in the store, we've got a wide variety of soccer balls, uh, boots and, uh, apparel shorts and stuff like that, that all is easily accessible here. And then as far as the equipment side, uh, if you need training equipment and stuff, um, you know, soccer, the footy hooks that you see there just below, mm -hmm. um, those ones are just in. It's a, a local Albertan company that launched those uh, to be able to hang nets. Uh, so in this time, it's really good because you don't have 20 people out there to hang nets. So having that. Um, and then I've got great relationships and great suppliers that are able to do shipments and stuff. So I, because of the small floor space here, I can't stock a whole bunch of equipment for training equipment, um, soccer nets and stuff like that. Um, but I can get it on quick turnaround. So within, you know, three to five business days, I usually have anything that guys need. So. And I think the nets, that, that might be something that might, uh, people might be interested in. They might have a park across the street. You know, they got two or three kids of their own and you know, they, yeah. you know, they want them close within eye shot. They can get one of these quick flex uh, light nets and they could set, set up and then get soccer going right across the street. That's awesome. Yeah. The pop-up nets are great for backyard too, because they protect backyard, your fence. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, I, you know, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but that I, I see it coming. I just, you know, it's from what I've seen in uh, the other areas, areas of you, know, you can't hold you can't hold certain things back and i, I think that soccer is uh, is one of those things that uh you know you just can't stop people playing man. You know, it's like well, well, I mean, you, you're probably rolling up your garbage and kicking it in the can all day long over there. Well, i mean i mean the, if there's videos floating around for the start of this the guy's playing uh dribbling with so uh, tissue paper in their basement oh, so i can uh, they'll do it with anything <laughs> So, you know what, you're, uh, you know, you're long-term businessman. You've got, you know, we can, we'll visit more on, on, you know, the, the, sc you know, the scope and the depth of, uh, of your ability, but, uh, you know, coming from that perspective, you know, you've got a really positive attitude about your business. You know, what can you, uh, what can you share with other business people or, you know, just individuals that are, you know, looking at, you know, restarting, you know, I mean, what could you share? Well, I mean, if everybody that's in the same position as me, uh, it's scary. Uh, it's uh, we've built, dug a big hole in the last two and two months or so. Um, and we got to come out of that and it's going to be a slow come out. Uh, but I think the biggest thing that I'm paying attention to trying to stay positive, I've got a great support system that's helping me with that. Um, and then, you know, keeping that close support system is huge. And then, coming back safely. Um, I think that's the biggest thing that we've all got to focus on is that we come out of this um, and don't try to come out running because we could be set right back up with uh, not having the stores open again. Oh, okay. Right. Right. So I think that's the focus that I'm taking. Um, and I hope other businesses are taking the same one because I think it's no business can afford to do this again. Mm. So no, no, it's uh Definitely not. Those are definitely wise words. But moving forward, <laughs> I bet you uh, you're going to have all sorts of interesting uh, top level uh, soccer players working and coming through the store. Uh, could probably get some good interviews. You think we could visit again? Uh, absolutely. I'm excited to start to meet the whole soccer community, especially in Sherd Park uh, and then the greater Edmonton area and getting to know them. Uh, I'm trying to reach out to a bunch of uh, soccer kind of stars i guess you say and see who knows maybe one of them will respond uh yes, the big yes. one the big one right now that's from the edmonton area is alfonso davies and who knows maybe i'll be able to launch him in <laughs> we yeah, can do an interview. so good yes i will we'll be there we'll be there how do people get a hold of you uh you can visit our website at uh uh all one word no spaces 
uh, or you can give us a call at 780-467-8499. And easy um, to find. Where are you? Uh, we're at, oh, no, I don't even know my address. Uh, 29 Sioux <laughs> Road. <laughs> right next to uh, Cafe Haven. Right, right, right there, next so. to Cafe Haven. So you can grab a coffee and come in and uh, walk around the store. That's awesome. Shane McLaughlin, owner, Sluggo's Free Kick. Thank you, sir, with James Steinhubel on the Sports Channel TV. See you next time. Thanks, James.